realized I hadn't done just a kind of a random video recently. Um, so after a lot of thinking, um, I have my 318 here, and then I have the X748, and uh, after using the broom the first time, which I posted a video a couple weeks ago, um, I really like the broom. Um, and at the same time, I still have the blade, which, um, I mean, will get a lot of use, um, but I, I really like the, the broom on the front of the X, and uh, so I got to thinking about it, and I've actually been looking for one for about a year. Um, I found a quick hitch for the 318, and um, what the quick hitch does, it'll allow me to use the blade that I have for the X on front of the 318. So instead of the kind of one, the single assembly that you would traditionally find for the 54 blade for the 318, um, we have, I'll have the, I can use the same 54 inch blade, but then I'll have a hitch for the front of the 318, much like the hitch for the X748. Um, to give you an idea, if, um, a lot of the 318 folks, uh, it's one of those things when deer started manufacturing the 425s, 445s, 455s, uh, that's when they went to the quick hitch and 54 blade. Um, that's also when they went away from the the kind of the uni the the single attachment system that had been the deer had used since the since 1968 uh, when they came out with the 140 um, where you know the snowblowers were mated to the the 140s uh, same thing with the blades and then when you had the the 420s, 430s, you had blades specifically for those machines. Instead, now you just have to buy a hitch for those machines. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do, if we look, this is the quick hitch off the X748. Um, and so it's a power lift and a power angle. And uh, then the attachment hooks in the front here. So whether it be the broom, a snowblower, a blade, um, whatever, it can hook up there. <clears throat> now, obviously, there's some issues getting power um, to the attachment, specifically for the 300 series, because um, the 748, everything's, you know, 2,000 RPM uh, front, I think it's 2,000, yeah, it's 2,000 RPM front PTO on the X, X series, and so the same thing with the 4 dash 5 series, so the 425s, 445s, 455s. Um, and then with the 318 and the 300 series, you've got some different uh, speeds coming off the PTO and, and whatnot. Uh, Deer actually makes a kit to where you can adapt something like the 60 broom to the 318. Not that the 318 could pull the 60 broom, but say if you had a 51 or 52 broom, that's certainly something that the, the 318 could, could work on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've been waiting to do this a long time is there's my um, now that I've gotten rambling for three minutes uh, there is my um, heavy hitch uh, on the back of the X748 and it's category zero and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the heavy hitch from the three from the X748 to the 318 and I've already got most of the um, the uh, the three point hitch on the 318 so I'm going to finish installing that and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take the category zero hitch off the X748 and I'm going to install my uh, category one limited limited category one uh, that's been sitting in a box uh, for the X748 I bought that this summer okay got that all switched around on the 318 um, now, one really cool thing about the heavy hitch, and uh, determined this earlier this year, um, that you can actually, if you set the three-point hitch up as high as possible, and lock it in that position, and then you tilt the, you use the, take the, the top link and extend the top link as far as possible, you actually have enough space to where you can invert the the uh, suitcase weights which really saves a lot of space and you still get some good weight on the back of the machine um, I'm gonna actually save the wheel weights for another day I probably should have put them on before I put the three-point on um, but I think I can still get it my get my arm and hand up in there um, to put the wheel weights on 
And so, uh, yeah, and probably what I'm going to end up doing is I'll probably take two of these weights off because from what my experience, uh, anytime I've tried to blade snow with the 318, really four weights in the back works, works about the best um, given the weight on the front of the machine. Um, I do have some front wheel weights that I could put on and we might, we might try those out. Um, I've never actually put them on uh, the 318 before. But they do fit, and so we might, that might be something I do later in the in the winter uh, if, if all this works out. So anyway, what I failed to mention earlier is I don't have the quick hitch for the 318 yet, or I would go ahead and show you that full setup. Uh, hopefully, it'll get here later this week um, or early next week. Um, so anyway, now I'll get the the X748 in here. Okay, got the X748 backed in here. Um, so just to kind of show you again what the problem with the category zero hitch is. So here are the brackets for the click and go. This, this tab on the click and go slides up in this area right here and clicks on that pin. Clearly with the, <coughs> with the category zero three point, this whole assembly is blocking that uh, pin right here and so you can't you can actually get it in there but you have to lower the three point all the way down um, to get it in there so with the category one limited you don't um, the click and go will go on here as long as you have the three point arms off so what all I bought this category one kit from deer um, oh gosh it was a while back. So here's what all is included. If I can get everything out of here. I don't know if I can. We'll see. All right. So here is, that's the main assembly right there. Um, a little bit different than the assembly on the category one. If you notice, the these pins are a little bit narrower uh, than the category one hitch. If I can get that box to stand up straight so it doesn't... Hold on just a second and we'll show you. So this will mount up here like this and you can actually see how those pins are slightly narrower and doesn't block on the outside. And this won't be blocked because it comes right in here and it won't block the click and go. So there's the, the main assembly for the category one limited. And then you have with the hit here, you have here are your arms. Um, now your arms, obviously they look a little different because the category one limited is going to spread a little wider than the category zero. And that's where a majority of your differences are. So, um, I'm actually going to have to buy a Category 1 heavy hitch. Uh, just um, convenient right now that I already have a Category 0. That's actually why the Category 0 is still on the X748. So anyway, even going through the box here. Uh, here is the... Um, this would be to take... I've already actually got this piece installed in the tractor. Um, this is the piece that goes from the lift cylinder uh, up to the deck lift because on the X7 series, you actually have to move the um, lift cylinder back. Um, as it comes from the factory on the X7 series, there is no rear rock shaft. And so because there is no rear rock shaft, you actually have to move the um, the whole lift cylinder back and, and part of the kit here is actually all the extra uh, hydraulic hoses and whatnot. I've already done that on this tractor. Um, the, the lift cylinder has already been moved to the back. That generally takes, I think it took me, um, when I did it, I had never worked on an X-Series before, um, but obviously I worked on other machines. It took me about an hour and a half. And most of that was just figuring out uh, where everything was at and kind of getting a feel for the machine. You could probably do it in an hour, um, you know, if you if you really put your mind to it. You don't have to remove the fender pan or anything like that. So, um, kind of keep going through all the, 
the parts here. Here is the lift. Um, the big difference here, so these are the lift arms, is, and what makes it different from the category zero hitch, is this right here will attach into there through a pin. That's what makes it much easier to remove. That also is what makes it much narrower um, is the fact that you don't have this bolt here. You can adjust them just based on these nuts right here. So, get two of those and then we'll have a bunch of hardware. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and set apart or set out to take the category zero hitch off. And if I see anything interesting while I'm doing that, I will take a video of it. Okay, got the category zero hitch off. It's in a pile right there. Um, and then got most of the components out for the new Cat 1 Limited. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I've got the instruction manual here because generally if I don't follow the instructions I end up doing things about four times. Um, so here are the hose extensions I was talking about earlier. Um, the manual does actually a really good job of, of walking you through um, some of the steps in, in terms of putting the extension on. And what I was talking about is on the X400, like 465, 475, 485, 495, 575, 585, and 595. Um, they actually had a rear rock shaft, like you can see in this picture right here. Uh, and then when the X700s came out, they actually did away with that rock shaft um, and moved the uh, cylinder up farther in front of the tractor. And so <clears throat> what happens is, is you have to actually move the cylinder back, like I have here, um, and extend the hydraulic lines using uh, the kit that they install or they, they include with the, the three-point. I don't think you can get a three-point without that. Um, the kit itself um, I think is like 80 bucks. So you can buy the kit separate, but you cannot buy the three-point separate from the kit. Um, so actually probably what I'll end up doing is I'll end up putting this together with the category zero and if I own another X machine then I'll probably put the the category zero three point on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just follow along on the instructions here. And um, the first thing is the depth rod. Now what's really interesting is it looks like this depth rod here and I've already got this the square nut on it. It looks like this depth rod has been heat treated um, which is kind of interesting and I think I don't have it any up, out anymore. Anyway um, I actually bent the depth rod on the category uh, zero hitch. Um, it, there, some, a couple parts came off, but uh, if you look, if you look at this depth rod on the category zero hitch, there's actually just a compression nut up here in the spring. And then you have the the holder, uh, and whereas the the depth rod on the category one limited is actually uh, a nut and you have put this the spring on there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the main rock shaft assembly on and get it set up and everything and then I'll come back and show you what I did okay got the hitch installed um, it's actually pretty straightforward um, I mean there's actually quite a number of videos out there that and websites that show how to install it the instructions are pretty straightforward um, so actually now that I have everything out, I just tested it out. I'm going to uh, lock the the whole mechanism up using the depth adjust. And I'm just going to turn it all the way out so it's locked up in the up position. And then I'm going to put the click and go bracket on. got my weights out. And uh, then I'm going to put the front end loader back on it. And uh, should be good to go. So, um, you know, it's it looks a whole lot different. The nice thing about it is is like I said you know now you've got space to put I've now I've got space to put my click and go in these just come right out instead of the the adjust that were there before um, you, you can only adjust one side but one side has a lot more adjust uh, it has a lot more movement in it than the other one so um, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to using it I just got to get a couple limited category one attachments uh, probably sometime in the next year I'll go ahead and add the 540 RPM PTO to this machine. I don't have that yet, but we'll probably get there. 
So anyway, hope that was an uh, interesting video. Um, and once I get the quick hitch for the 318, I'll make a video of that, hopefully get some snow and uh, make a GoPro video of that, uh, moving some snow with the, the quick hitch blade on the 318. So anyway, thanks for watching.